morning and welcome again to our thought for the day. I want us again to just look at that verse there in Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Oh, to trust in the name of Jesus. Once again, today is my message to you. Trust in him for he is the only one that cannot and will not fail you. And so again, we are looking at the peace of of God not the peace of this world but the peace of God you see the peace of this world is a fleeting thing one day you have peace one day you haven't one day they're working towards peace one day the peace has gone but the peace of God is eternal for time and for all eternity and so we looked yesterday morning just a little bit at that perfect peace that passes all understanding and we said that it is the portion only of the one who knows and loves and lives in Christ. This morning, I want us to see that that true peace of God, in this true peace of God, there is no panic, but there is power. And this power passes all understanding also. When you have his peace, you have his power. When you have his peace, you know that all will be well. And so there is no need to panic. Our confidence is in Christ and in Christ alone. There is no panic, but power. And that power passes our understanding. Ephesians 6 and verse 15 says this, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Isn't that amazing? Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Isn't it wonderful, friends, that we can walk in the gospel of peace? As we walk each day balanced upon our feet, so as Christians, we should walk on our spiritual feet, balanced upon the gospel of of peace we used to sing a song how lovely are the peace of the, are those who brings good news and you know i used to think a little bit about that song and think there's nothing lovely about feet well why why are we singing how lovely are the feet of those that brings good news but it was what they were bringing upon those feet oh i tell you friends when someone brings the peace of god when someone brings the gospel of the peace of god to you you thank god for them you thank god that their feet ever brought that message to your doorstep and so this morning we pray that we god will help us in our spiritual walk to bring the gospel of the peace of god offering men and women that which is beyond price the peace of god that cannot be purchased and so we see it is our mind our mental ability and our feet our physical ability every aspect is covered by his peace Philippians 4 and verse 7 says this, And the peace of God which passeth, passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Isn't that incredible? He keeps our minds. That's wonderful in this day in which we live. It's, over the last few months, you know, there has been trials for so many all over the world. People's hearts and minds have been filled with fear. But for those who know and love Christ, they've been able to experience the peace of God even in the middle of situations that no one have ever dreamt of. And I thank God that his peace is constant and his peace will never leave you. When you trust him, all will be well. He keeps our hearts and keeps our minds. All that we are or have through Jesus is because of our wonderful Saviour. Great peace satisfaction joy and an absolute assurance that one day we are going to be with jesus for all eternity what peace that should give you today you see there are so many that strive after peace for time but time is a a, a fleeting thing time goes so quickly make sure that you not only have peace for time but for eternity consider eternity today and make sure that you have peace with God. You see, we must let the peace of God rule within our hearts. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 3, uh, chapter 3 and verse 15 tells us, and you will experience this peace. If you experience it, the worry and the confusion will give way to the peace of God. This peace even brings peace from our enemies. Oh, what it must be like to have peace from our enemies. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7 says this, when a man's way pleaseth the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Did you hear those words? 
When a man's way pleaseth the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Friends, if you please God, all good things will come your way. If you please God, you will experience the peace of God. You will experience peace from your enemies because Christ is victorious over our enemies. And so today, once again, I trust that you will experience for yourself the everlasting peace of God. God bless each one. I'll speak to you again tomorrow morning.